Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on the first important steps in Transcribus. Transcribus is a powerful tool for digitizing and transcribing your historical documents. And today we will cover everything from uploading your documents to using the power of AI for text recognition. First things first, let's get you started with Transcribus. Head over to transcribus.org and click on the Try Free button to sign up. Fill in the necessary details, including your email and password, and voila! You now have your very own Transcribus account. The Transcribus platform has a clear structure that is easy to use and understand. In Transcribus, you have workspaces to organize your work. There are three main ones, desk, models, and sites. You can see them in the top right corner of your screen. These workspaces are like your digital office and they help you to manage your documents efficiently. The first workspace is the Transcribus desk. This is where the work is done. Here, documents are uploaded, sorted into collections, and pages are transcribed and searched. Here, you have access to the documents and, of course, the other workspaces. The models workspace is where the Transcribus magic takes place. This is where text and layout models are trained and managed. But more about that later. Then, what's new is Transcribus Sites. You can think of it as a content management system where you can publish your material simply and easily. Of course, you can also personalize this website with colors or images. And in this way, you can share your work and your transcribed documents with the public. Today, we will focus on the desk workspace where you can upload and manage your documents and start an automatic text recognition. So first, let's look at uploading and managing your historical documents. Understanding how the management structure works is quite crucial. So we have a hierarchy of first collections, then documents in the collections, and then the pages and images within these documents. This structure helps you to keep your work organized and accessible. Ready to start your first project? Then let's create a collection. Normally, a collection is a project that acts as a container for your documents, making it simple to categorize and manage your data. Every user has a default collection when they sign up. To create a new collection, navigate to Collections and click New Collection. Then you can give it a name. After naming the collection, it can now be accessed from the Work Desk page under Collections in the navigation bar on the left. Now you are ready to work with your private collection and can upload documents or images for the transcription process. Before actually working with your documents, they have to be imported to Transcribus. To do so, go to the collection you just have created. Since this new collection is still empty, you will immediately see the option to upload files. Select images or PDF, depending on the type of documents you have. Browse or drag and drop your files to import them. If you already have a document in your collection and you want to add another one, click Upload Files on the right. Again, a window will open where the images of your document can be imported. You can check the status of the upload in Jobs. In the collections, you can upload as many different documents as you like. The uploaded documents can then be found when opening the collection. And when opening the document, you can see the pages of the document. If your document is a letter, it might contain just one page. If you are working with a book, it can show up to hundreds of images or pages. Now that we have figured out how to upload your documents to the Transcribus platform, let's take a closer look on how to manage them. In the platform, you have a few options on how you want to structure, view, or organize your documents. In Home, which is your central base, you can find your recently visited collections and documents. If you go to Collections, you see your personal collections. You can switch the view from Thumbnail to table view, depending on what your preference is. You can also edit the information of your collections by clicking on the three dots on the top right of the collections. And of course, here you can also add new collections. When you open the collections, you will see the documents inside. 
Here you can see the thumbnails of the documents, and this is also where you manage your documents. You can sort them by alphabetical order or how new they are. You can also edit the metadata. So click on edit and you can enter the writer, the genre, also authority and more. You don't have to add the metadata, but it can be quite useful to have that information on hand. You can also create shortcuts to other collections. Your document will remain in the main collection, but a shortcut of it will also appear in the collection to which you have linked it. This will allow you or other users of that collection to access the document from there. The documents can also be copied, moved, and deleted. And if a document is deleted by mistake, don't worry. Deleted documents are not removed immediately, but are kept in the recycle bin for 14 days so that you can either restore them or delete them permanently. When you open the document, you can see the images of the pages. Here we can see them again in the thumbnail view, which you can of course change. You can also adjust the size of the thumbnails and make them bigger or smaller. We can see that the images are color coded and that is the status of the pages. This shows you at what point the transcription process is. So gray refers to newly uploaded pages, orange is in progress, done means that the transcription is finished, and dark green means ground truth. The nice thing here is that you can filter the documents by status. So it shows, for instance, only pages where the transcription is still in progress, ground truth pages, or new ones. Now, I've just mentioned the term ground truth a few times. Let me quickly explain what that means. So ground truth means that the transcription of your pages is correct and that these pages can be used to train a model. We will talk more about training a model in one of the next videos, but in short, ground truth marks data to be ready for training. By clicking on a page, you can open the Transcribus editor. This editor is split into two parts. On the left, you see the image with the layout editor, and on the right is the text editor. Here you can either transcribe the image yourself or edit the automatic transcription. So how do I get my automatic transcribus transcription of my documents? Simply click on the text recognition button in the text editor and already the model page appears. You can then filter these models, for example, by language or type of material. Select a model that most closely matches your material, same language or same time period, and then select the model by clicking on it. When you click on the model, you will also see further information about the model on the right, such as the size of the training data or the character error rate, called CER. So the character error rate is one of the factors that determines the performance of the model. It's the percentage of incorrectly recognized characters and with a percentage of 8%, that means that 8 out of 100 characters were incorrectly recognized by the text recognition model. To start the automatic text recognition, click on Start Recognition. You can check the progress in the Jobs queue. Recognizing the pages might take a bit of time depending on the amount of pages that are automatically transcribed. Once the automatic transcription is finished, you can just open or reload the page and you should be able to see it. When opening the page, you can again see the image on the left side and now you can see the transcribed text on the right. Since the public model we used was not trained on the specific handwriting of these documents, a few mistakes can sneak in. You can easily edit and correct your transcribed text in the editor. In one of the next videos, we will take a closer look at the Transcribus editor on how you can edit the layout of the image, change the size of the font or add tags. And that's it for now. These were the first important steps in the Transcribus platform. Now you know how to upload documents, how to manage them, and how to start an automatic text recognition. If you have any more questions, head over to our help center for more tips and detailed information and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next time and happy transcribing.